T n plus one i j equals T n i j plus uh, delta T uh, k over c h squared <coughs> times T n i plus one j plus T n i j plus one plus T n i minus one j plus T n i j minus one minus four T n i j. This is nothing but our usual thing. It is the average of these four things. Average minus the center. You can see or sum. Let us not say sum. Sum minus four times the center. Okay, that's what that's what T N I J is. Now let us look at the boundaries. The easy boundaries at the top and the bottom, top and side. If you look at the boundary one and three, that is one and three. Why? Because on those boundaries, you can see that uh, I know the temperature. So T, you can see it is T i comma one. This is boundary one equal to forty. T i comma one, T one comma one, T two comma one, T three comma one, T four comma one, and then T four comma j. The second one is T four comma j equal to thirty degrees. Of course, you can see that there is a problem at this corner. There is nothing you can do about it because we have given in incompatible boundary conditions. On the one side it is thirty, on the other side it is forty. You have to pick. Okay. Now we are left with boundaries two and four. So boundaries two and four. This you have to do node by node. It's not easy. It's not easy to generalize. So let's pick a node. I will show you. Let us pick this node. What about T13? Tn plus one. One comma three will be according to our formula. It will be T n one three plus delta T a k over h squared c h squared times T n um, two three plus T n one four plus T n zero uh, three plus T n. Um, One. Uh, let us see. One two minus four t n one three. That's all very nice, but I have this problem. So well, let us see where is t n zero three. So if I go up here, you will see t n zero three will be this node. This is a fictitious node. So that is zero comma three. So how do you compute that? Well, I have to do partial t with respect to y, n one comma three equals is approximately by central difference, t n. Um, let us see. Uh, it will be two three minus t n zero three divided by two h. Can you see that? It will be this. Minus this divided by two h, and that should be seven times. That's equal to seven times x i, and I know what is the value of x there. It is two h, which is fourteen h. So T n zero three equal to twenty eight h squared. Negative T n zero three is minus T n two three. 
So Tn03 equal to Tn23 minus 28 k square. So you take that and substitute it in here and you will get Tn plus 1, 1 comma 3 because of Tn13 plus this whole thing is called lambda. So I am just going to call it lambda Tn23 plus Tn14 plus Tn23 minus 28 h squared plus Tn12 minus 4 Tn13. This is nothing but Tn03. Okay. So you have to do like this for all the variables here. That is 2, 3. So there is 3 variables. The, I mean the, these 3 ones. How about on this side? Let us look at that one. Tn24. So how about Tn plus 1, 2, 4. If I were to blindly write it down, it will be Tn plus 1, 2, 4 equals Tn24 plus lambda times Tn14 plus Tn25 plus Tn Tn34 plus Tn25 plus Tn14 plus Tn23 minus 4 Tn Um, 2, 4. This is just our usual formula, just this. i plus 1j and all this. It's just this. Okay. The problem is, what about this? So, let us see where it is first. If I go on here, 2, 5 is this fictitious now. And here, I am going to use that. DTDA, DTDX equal to 8T. So, I am going to compute DTDX at 2, 4, N gives me TN um, 2, 5 minus TN 2, 3 divided by 2, H. This must be equal to how much? Let us say 8 t. So, it is 8 times n times delta t. Sorry, n minus 1 times delta t. I am sorry. This is T n. So, as usual, I am going to solve T n 2 5 equals 16 n minus 1 delta t h plus t n 2 3. Take that, substitute it in there and you will get t n plus 1 2 4 equals t n 2 4 plus lambda times t n 3 4 plus 16 n minus 1 delta t h plus t n 2 3 that is Tn25, so that whole thing plus Tn14 plus Tn23 minus 4 Tn24. And this whole mess is nothing but this. <coughs> so, just to summarize, inside we do this, on the, on the sides on which we, we know the temperature we do this. On the sides in which we know the heat flux, we either do this way or that way. We have to introduce fictitious nodes and do that. Okay? So, if you do that, you can actually set up the equations for the whole thing and run the simulation. Thank you.